Hey YouTube, this is Jason here doing a review on my Sansui QRX 5500. First of all, I'm just gonna say right out there that this thing is freaking awesome. I mean, it powers eight speakers at 30 watts per speaker, but it's really underrated. It's more like 100 watts per speaker. So let's get right down to it. I'll start off playing the song. Um, actually. I've noticed that all the videos on this have music like from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. And as you can tell, I am not from that generation. I am from the present and like good music. No offense to anybody who likes that 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s stuff. But here's my favorite song by a band called Periphery. It's called Icarus Lives. If anybody's wondering, I have four homemade cabs and those two little realistic speakers, which actually sound pretty damn good. One thing I really like on this is the four levels here for the front and back speakers. You got left, right, left and right, front, rear. I like this because I can switch back to the B speakers so I can have my subs play if I'm playing like bass nectar or something. Or I can have this one, this one, this one, and this one play. And I'm going to go back to all four now. Or I can go to my rear speakers, which are these two, and just have those play. But I have those set for like the trebles and all the high frequencies, so it's not going to get much bass out of those. This thing is amazing. From 1973, this thing sounds pretty well. Like I, I had this little Sony thing down here, and this thing I just blew up. I had way too much power from it and just completely destroyed it. Reminding you, this thing weighs like a good 60 pounds. Cause when I ordered it, my mom had to bring it in the UPS man because I was at school, and she said that she was like sweating just carrying it inside. Alright, let's give another example of some music. Let's go. Um, let's see. What do I have on here? I'll go. Hmm. Oh, I try Lil Wayne a milli just to show you how much bass this thing has. That plus four. And this thing kicks butt. I mean, this just has bass that you can feel and just oozes with quality and it's just amazing. Now, I'm probably going to get some comments on this saying, why would you play Lil Wayne if you're such a good stereo and this is meant for classic music. Like, it's like, I don't care. This is just awesome. Alright, so no, I know most of you probably aren't liking this kind of music. So I guess I'll go to some ska. This is by a band called Ballyhoo. This song is called D2G. One of my favorite songs. Band practice. Yum. And 
a lot of people that are watching this know a little bit more about speakers than I do, but I just chose Pile because in my history they have been pretty reliable and for my purposes they're good enough. I have my bass amp back there which has a, two Pile speakers in it and a hard key. that it has the pan option so I can go to the left, right. And this thing gets loud. It's like... Right now I have a two channel coming straight from my iPod. Um, and I know this is a quadraphonic receiver, but I don't have anything with quadraphonics. So, I'm just going to go with regular old stereo, but it still sounds really good anyway. Alright, so I'm going to say that's about it. Just go away with this amazing receiver in your mind. And if you find one of these, snatch it up because they're getting pretty rare. Alright, this is Jason signing off.